it's gonna be a terrible video but I wanted to put this information out there I am working on my videoing and skills and everything I just I'm limited right now because I have a tiny apartment with a terrible lighting, a terrible camera. So, um, so I'm working on it. So hang in there with me. And, um, but I wanted to sh kind of show you guys um, a good at home workout, especially when it's um, like snowing and the weather is just so crappy outside. I wanted to show you a workout that you can do at home that'll get your heart rate going, that'll get you moving, and it's, you can do it no matter what level you're at. I've done it before at home, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So so basically, we're gonna warm up with, with 10 jumping jacks first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So you're gonna, Put your, put your feet, um, you can't see my feet, but my feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. As you can see, my legs here. Put your arms out to the side and then you're gonna bend down and your fingers are gonna touch your toes. Or at least you're gonna try. Go as far down as you can. So, um, and so these are toe touches. So you're gonna do 10 on each side. So 20 total. So one. room to do this but if you don't have enough room you can just do like this and um, we're just gonna twist and we're gonna do 10 each side so you're gonna face each side 10 times so that's gonna be 20 total so one <laughs> And show you guys just some exercises either if you don't have carpet you can always get these um, these mats that clip together I got these from five below so these were five bucks um, or I think they were like two or three dollars each and then I got six of them um, so they're really good they're a really good option if you don't have carpet um, or you could use a yoga mat or you could just do it on carpet I have concrete floors so these really are really really good and really really useful so the first thing that we're going to do are glute bridges so you're going to um sit with your with your knees up and then you're going to lay back on your back all right and i hope you can hear me but what we're going to do is we're going to raise up from the hips so you're going to leave your arms facing down your head you're not going to bring your head up you're going to rest your head on the ground and then you're gonna lift, lift the hips, squeeze the glute. And that's gonna be one rep. So we're we're let's do ten of those. So one, two, three. You're gonna squeeze the glute. Really squeeze on the way up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What we're going to do is um, we're gonna do a glute kickback. So this is gonna be a lower body booty circuit. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face this way so that you guys can see. So I'm gonna get on all fours and then we're gonna, you're gonna take one leg, flex that foot and bring your, kick your leg up. So you guys can't see, but my foot is flat, stays flat the whole time and squeeze the glute, squeeze it up. So. We're gonna do 10 on each leg. So that's two to flex that foot, keep your core tight, and you wanna keep your head facing forward. My head's a little bit twisted, so that might cause me some neck pain later um, because I'm trying to make sure I'm in, I'm in, um, I'm in the frame, but, um, but you want to keep, keep your neck and your spine neutral. You don't wanna be overly flexed like this, and you don't wanna be overly um, extended like this. So you want to keep a neutral spine, back flat. Last exercise. 
exercise. And this is going to be leap frogs. <laughs> you wanna start with your feet flat. If you can't sit like this, that's okay. Most people can't. Um, so, but this is how we're gonna end. So we're gonna jump up from here and land back down. So you're gonna do however many you can. Um, I would prefer that you get 10 of them in. If you can only do five, you can only do five. Um, so give yourself a little bit of humility. This is a little bit difficult. So we're gonna do, we're gonna try 10 of these, all right? So we're gonna jump up and come back down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and I'm shaking the camera. All right, we got five more, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good, all right. So that's gonna be our three exercises, and you're gonna do the 10 reps each, and you'll do that um, consecutively, so without rest in between. And then after you've done three exercises, we're gonna rest for one minute and do it again. So those are all gonna be booty building, leg toning exercises. Um, and so you're gonna do two to three rounds of those, rest for a minute within in between each round and I'll try to put something up on the screen like right here just to kind of go over everything that I just did and then once you've done two to three rounds we're gonna do what's called a burnout and this is going to um, this is gonna make the exercise a little bit harder you're really gonna feel it in in your booty um, but that's the point we want we want to feel it there right um, you're gonna rest for one minute after your last round of three. And our first burnout exercise is going to be a sumo squat. Woo! I didn't mean to do that. So this is gonna be a sumo squat. So you're gonna put your legs out super wide, toes pointed out, and we're gonna do a sumo squat pulse. So you're gonna go, all, for all my dancers out there, it's gonna be like a plie. So we're gonna go down, up, and you're not gonna lock out your legs, but you're gonna keep tension on your glutes and on the back of your legs. So we're gonna do 20 of those. Ready? Two, three. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is you're gonna start out on all fours and we're gonna need to you're gonna foot first extend your leg back and then with the opposite arm you're gonna reach forward okay and hold there for three seconds so one two three and down all right and then the other side ready one, two, three, and down. All right, and then you'll do that on 10, 20 total, 10 on each side, okay? One, two, three, and down. Ready? One, two, three, and down. And it's okay if you're a little bit wobbly. Everyone is at first, but this is gonna build up your core strength in your posterior chain. So again, just like when we were doing our kickbacks, um, we don't want to be like this, but we don't want to be overextended like this. If you want a neutral spine, your head is in a neutral spine as well. All right, so this is I think three. exercise um, so remember two to three rounds of the supersets and then one round of the burnout at the end and you 
Well, have your, you have yourself a great at-home workout for those days where you can't make it to the gym due to the weather or it's super, super cold outside. I know last night it was really, really windy here. Um, so if you have situations like that where you can't get out of the house, this is definitely a good morning to tone and tighten the booty and core. So let me know how you liked it. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining me on this 12 Days of Fitness. Um, I'm super excited for the next 10 days. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.